sorry, Burger King's planning to move its headquarters to Canada if it purchases this Tim Hortons chain. Uh, does this add pressure on, on you to issue executive orders about the issue of tax inversion? Uh, I, is something like that imminent? Well, Steve, I, I have read reports that this is a, a specific financial transaction that's being contemplated by a specific American company. Uh, I'm not in a position to comment on the, those specific transactions. Uh, I, uh, I will reiterate, though, what the Treasury Department has said, which is that they are considering a range of administrative options that are available to the administration to uh, make those kinds of financial transactions uh, less appealing to countries that may, or to companies that may be considering them. That there may be an opportunity for the, the Treasury Department to change, change some rules in a way that makes uh, that removes or at least reduces the financial incentive for some American companies to consider those kinds of transactions. Uh, the President, uh, again, speaking as a general matter, not as it relates to any specific transaction that's being contemplated, uh, doesn't believe that uh, a company simply switching their citizenship, filling out a few papers to switch their citizenship to avoid paying their fair share in U.S. taxes uh, is good policy. Uh, it certainly isn't fair, and it certainly isn't fair to the uh, millions of middle-class families uh, in this country that don't have that option. Uh, the reason it's not fair is because those companies, again, not speaking about any specific transaction, but the reason that it's not fair is that companies that consider uh, uh, transactions like an inversion continue to benefit from all of the resources of the United States, the United States government, uh, and uh, other assets that are funded by taxpayer dollars. So companies that are based in the U.S. continue to benefit from the infrastructure that we have in this country. Countries that are based in the United States continue to benefit from uh, from an access to from access to a supply of the most highly skilled, hardest working uh, employees in the world. So, uh, th those are just two examples of how companies that uh, are in the United States benefit from being in the United States. Uh, and it's not fair for them to just fill out some paperwork that would allow them to renounce their citizenship. Uh, and uh, and essentially renounce a portion of their tax bill. 